Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpine King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K22 video. Today we're going to be talking about Season 7 and everything that comes with it. But before we do that, make sure that you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not. And let's go ahead and hop into the trailer for Season 7. So as you guys can see, there are a lot of new rewards for season seven, including the jetpack and NBA mascots. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about everything here today in this video. But first off, before we do, what do you guys think so far for season, season seven without knowing anything else? Let me know if the mascots and the jetpacks are a W or a L, or if you need something more. Let's go ahead and uh, hop into the information. If you guys don't know already, the season seven launch is called Return of the Heroes. Basically, they are going back to NBA 2K21's uh, hero segment where they brought in a lot of different uh, players. You know what I mean? They signed them on and stuff like that. And now they're bringing them back in more of a playoff form as well as bringing in a little bit of my team stuff with some of that. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into it. The NBA playoffs are the ultimate battleground. For heroes in the making, putting players through a gauntlet of grueling challenges. Those worthy of greatness embrace the moment. Now, remember when um, I told you guys about the NBA 2K21 stuff? So, NBA 2K21 Age of the Heroes theme. It introduced and featured NBA 2K's first heroes from around the league. But in Season 7, they are returning to, you know, just showcase those players. Starting with Joel Embiid. Of course, the scoring champ should have been MVP, but I digress. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, if you want to argue with me in the comments, you can. But um, basically, um, it's letting you know that you can compete in the city or on uh, Concha del Mar, uh, which is the uh, boat for current gen. Um, I've, before I keep going, I know that there's a major disconnect in the community because we don't have cross play and we have people playing on a whole bunch of um, uh, older gen consoles, which is Xbox One and PS4. And we only got a couple next gen people playing PS5 and Xbox Series X and stuff like that. So there is a huge disconnect. I'm hoping that crossplay will come in 2K23. There's also a little tidbit that T Mac just did some mocap for NBA 2K23. So, I mean, we're hoping that T Mac gets his flowers as far as uh, 2K goes. And, um, you know, we'll talk more about that later in the video, right? Now, of course, all new my career updates, right? So, if you guys watched the trailer, if you missed it, you know, earlier in this video, it shows that we will be getting the jetpack. But there is something that I need to let you guys know. The jetpack will only be available to next gen. It will not be available to current gen at all. So, I know what you guys are going to say. This is bull crap. Why is next gen getting all of the love? Why is current gen not getting it? We had the jetpack back in, you know, the early 2K days. Why can't current gen get the jetpack? I know that a lot of people are going to be arguing in the comments. A lot of people will be, you know, snapping on 2K on social media, making crazy Reddit posts about it. But basically, let me show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. So 
right here all of this basically um it's telling you that um just as the nba playoffs rocket towards the nba finals new gen players will be able to rocket through the city with the level 40 jetpack reward for current gen players you can launch a team spirit with the nba mascot outfit reward now let me be clear below you guys see for new gen players for level 40 we get the jetpack and for level 30 we get the nba mascot outfits right now for current gen players for level 30 you get an affiliation mascot outfit which they don't have affiliations on current gen as well as for level 40 they only get the nba mascot now this listen all i can say is i don't know why they did it maybe the jetpack didn't mesh well with current gen maybe it didn't make sense to to have the jetpack on current gen maybe there was a design flaw or a mechanic flaw where the jetpack would probably you know mess up current gen i i don't know but all i know is that next gen players get everything um and the reason why i say that is the nba mascot outfits we only get one so you'll have to probably choose wisely and then you can probably buy the rest of them which that's always the case with a lot of unlockables like for instance um when we unlocked you know different you know tigers for level 40 and stuff like that they're probably going to have different variations different colors different things like of that nature for these rewards but i know that a lot of people are probably right now spamming in the comment section like bro this is bull crap why are they doing this i mean this is it's just how it is man now um this is a new mode um it's called ascend and tko so let's go ahead and uh check this out real quick uh in the world of championship caliber talent only a select few can rise above the rest show the world what you're made of this season and tko for new gen tko will not be in current gen tko pits you against other players with the winner advancing up a floor where you'll face even more fierce competitors Keep your streak alive and you can earn up to four times XP. So Puma Mania that allows you to get up to four times with like with a couple days of playing the game straight. It looks like TKO will allow you to get four times XP. The better you play, the more competitive you play. It says the event rewards include skill boosts, boxing shorts, boxing gloves, and 10,000 BC. If you lose through your streak will end. You'll you're allowed to be knocked down three tiers before you're officially eliminated from the competition. So most likely, um, me, Trey, and Raunchy are gonna have to try to try to win this thing. Um now also, um, there's always my team news. Uh I'm not really a big my team guy, but I'll let you guys go ahead and uh, read it. Of course, you guys uh, notice level one reward in my team season seven is a hero galaxy opal Zion. So, you know, that's cool. Um, they also have a uh, challenger mural collection complete reward, which is an invincible Joel and bead. I'm not sure uh, what that is. You, my team people know what that, that stuff is. Here goes more uh, information. Um, they have an invincible Tim Hardaway. They have Hall of Fame badges, tokens, my team points. Um, so season rewind and events. I don't I don't know what none of that means. Um yeah. Here it goes some my team stuff. So uh yeah. My team. There you go, guys. Yeah. Uh, the W online, um, basically for everybody that plays the W, enjoy. Um, all my uh my gamers out there that love playing in the W online, go crazy. Um, 2K beats the search. Uh, let's see. Um, it looks like they are bringing in new sound. Oh, in a partnership with SoundCloud, we are showcasing a variety of music from the community for the community. Okay, okay, that's dope. Giving people a shot. If anybody knows any of these artists, go ahead and put it inside the comment section and I'll check out their songs and their in their stuff. Um, closing remarks. Every hero has an origin story will be yours. It's something I was gonna give some use by elevating your team to levels once 
felt unattainable, suit up for a season of dynamic rewards, jaw dropping highlights, and ultra competitive basketball. Whether you're using your talents in my team or my career, there are a myriad of challenges and rewards to keep you occupied all season long. Um, I don't like how they started with my team over my career, but you know, um, the W mode and related content is available on new gen only. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, click here to take a 10 minute survey. Oh no, I'm not taking that survey. Y'all, y'all would hate me if I took that survey. Um, but basically the, the big plus from this season is definitely the jet pack for uh next gen. And the NBA mascots finally coming to NBA 2K22. Um, I, I, in all honesty, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I am not a fan of breaking up content and coming up with content over a time period. I believe if they're gonna do this whole season pass thing, they cannot hold dribble packages and jump shot landings and things of that nature for new seasons. They need to come up with new stuff that is more, uh, how should I say, cosmetic as far as the seasonal stuff. You can't hold back gameplay animations and stuff like that and, and give those out later in different seasons because it's going to make people not want to play the game. Um, people are going to feel hindered. Um, one thing that I can say that it does do well, it allows people like me to make different videos and different tutorials when new dribble moves and, and stuff like that comes out, but it hinders the community as well as it does not make it fun to be waiting on, let's say a uh, Steph Curry behind a back move or something like that. You know what I mean? Like an, uh, an escape, like we shouldn't be waiting on that stuff. We shouldn't have to find out glitches on how to do that move with, with point guards and stuff like that by creating them under, under a uh, glitchy pretenses. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Uh, make sure that you guys hit that like button. Share this with a friend um, just to let them know about all of the new uh, additions to NBA 2K22. And um, again, let me know if this is a W or a L, especially now that you know that the jetpack is not coming to current gen. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.